All right. You must be Sunny and Alice Strutter. I was told by your daughters to send my animals to attack you both for abusing your them on purpose, giving Justine the punishment day on her birthday, beating your her up over the snow drown, and for putting her animal outside in a snowstorm in a summer clothes. You know what? Hey, Cougar. Girls Liam the American Alligator. Attack these child abusers. All right, guys. Like our master said. Attack! attack. Oh, great. We're dead. Big time. You're right, Sunny. Embrace for your impact. This will teach you a lesson for what you do to your kids. It looks like our work is done here. All right, Sonny and Alice, get up off the ground for your seventh punishment. Your seventh punishment is to clean up all the stinky cow poop from this ranch, put it in this bucket, and after you're done, putting all the poop in your mouths and tasting it. No way. We are not doing that. This is so disgusting and gross. Do it right now or your next punishment is worse. Okay, fine. We will do whatever you say. Okay. We are done cleaning the stinky cow poop. Good. Now you must taste the cow poop. Ugh. Do we have to? Yes, you have to previous dad. Because you made me clean and taste horse poop. Prepare to have the same fate as I did when you were both giving me and Annabelle punishments. That's right. Your daughter has right points about you. Now get to tasting it. Fine, but you all are gonna regret it. Ugh. We are finished tasting the poop. That was so freaking disgusting. I think I'm gonna... Me too, I'm gonna blow. Alright. Be prepared for your 8th punishment. The reason we are at the Galleria Mall in Houston is that for your 8th punishment, you will watch your daughters Justine and Annabelle spending stuff she's wanted with your credit and debit cards along with your purse. What. The. Hell. How did you guys get a hold of our credit cards, debit cards, Sunny's wallet and, of course, my handbag? Well, after the trial and after sending you both in Harris County Jail, your daughters Justine and Annabelle had the perfect punishment for you. She called Miles Morales and Scott Lang, a.k.a. Ant-Man to go and get your handbag, Sunny's wallet, and of course, your credit and debit cards. Now, both of you prepare to have your worst punishment yet. Justine and Annabelle, we checked the balance on these cards and the cash included in Sonny's wallet and Alice's purse. Their credit cards include $25,000 and their debit cards have $1,200 each. They even have up to $35,000 in cash and don't worry about paying back the bank as we will cover for all the expenses that come with the credit cards. How about you both go inside the mall and buy the things you always wanted in your whole life since your parents are being executed tonight? They won't be needing their cards anymore. Yeah, I agree with the Shadow Ops police. And they gave these cards to me and told me to hold on to them as punishment for not letting you have a good birthday and taking away your freedom. Would you like that? Oh, my God. Yes. We will do that. Thank you everyone for making this possible. I agree with Justine. I cannot wait to show off our previous parents their worst nightmare. This is the perfect opportunity to finally get the things we always wanted in our lives. All right, Justine and Annabelle. Let go inside the mall and get you those things you always wanted. My name is Miles Morales and I will be your escort inside the mall. Yes. PS5, new clothes and MacBook Pro. 
Here I come. No the heck they are not. They are not taking our credit cards, spending our balance, and buying stuff that they really wanted. This is why I want them to live with us abused for all the crap they caused. That is so freaking it. Me and Alice are chasing our doctors and Miles Morales down and give all three an ass beating. Come back with our credit cards, your father's wallet and my purse you crooked criminals. Oh no you're not. Get the heck back here. These girls are so. Oh no you're not. Get on the ground now. You both are not going anywhere. Are you kidding me? These girls have our credit cards. And we do not care. This is what you get for child abuse. If you're going to try to stop Justin and Annabelle from spending stuff with your credit cards, we will hold you guys on the ground until your daughter buys all the things she wants with your money. Tax right. And I see Justin with stuff she has bought from the Apple store. Yes. I finally bought an iPhone 15 Pro Max and a new MacBook Pro that I always wanted my entire life since my last laptop got destroyed after blowing up my house the first time back in 2022. Be ready to see Annabelle with her purchase too. Yes. I finally got a PS5 like I always wanted for a long time. I also got an iPhone 15 Pro Max like Justine did. Oh crap. Not another laptop. <laughs> That was supposed to be for me. Especially I for Justin went on our old laptop and installed a virus on it. Alright Sonny and Alice Scudder. How does it feel to have this punishment for giving Justine an edible call for Christmas and giving Justine a punishment day on her birthday? Yes. Me and Annabelle bought new clothes from different department stores for ourselves that my previous mom or dad wouldn't let me buy. Yeah, I agree with Justine. I cannot wait to try on these new clothes when we arrive at our new home. Well, I wouldn't worry about Justin and Annabelle buying clothes. What's the worst she could purchase with our credit cards? How about more expensive stuff like these? Yes. I got a Xbox Series X and a new iPad. I am finally able to get a new iPad since my dad took it away back in 2022 after I removed kids' locks from my old iPad. Yes, I am finally able to get a razor blade gaming laptop. I always wanted a new laptop for a long time. This is the best day of my life. No, these girls are using our credit card to buy stuff they do not deserve to have. This is so unfair. And besides... That laptop Annabelle board costs around $3,000. I agree, Sonny. We are living in a realistic nightmare that we are trapped in and for some reason we cannot wake up from it. We are living in hell right now. We are. Yes. We got everything we needed. That's right, Justine. This is the most luckiest day of our lives. Oh. My, freaking, God, Justine and Annabelle, how could you? I cannot believe you spent on our credit cards for all this junk. That's it, I had it with your crappy behavior. We are destroying all this stuff when we... No, you're not. We are putting all of Justin and Annabelle's stuff in this box, putting them in the car, and sending them off to our house for safekeeping. There, Sonny and Alice. Have fun trying to get Justine and Annabelle's stuff back. We will also destroy your credit cards since they are likely to have almost zero balance on them. And you won't be needing your credit cards anymore since you are about to be executed pretty soon by Alejandro Moore and your daughters are not going to become Ted and Camilla's daughters soon. Now, let's move on to the next punishment while Ted and Camilla sends all their stuff back to the hotel. God damn it. This is the worst punishment we've ever experienced. I really wish Craig the Devil hadn't revived us when Justin killed us at the hotel back in 2022. Our lives are so depressing right now. Alright, Sonny and Alice. 
For your ninth punishment, you both are eating a ghost pepper, and it is one of the world's most hottest peppers in the world. What? But that will burn our tongues off. We don't care. Eat it right now or your next punishment is worse. I know, it looks like me and Alice are going to have to eat it. Tags right, Sunny. If we complain, we make it worse. Oh my god, my mouth, it's on fire so badly. Why would all of you do this to us? Just why? Well, why, 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 all right, Sonny and Alice. We rented this room for you for your 10th punishment. For your 10th punishment, our son Joseph will use these loudspeakers to play Coco Melon music for over three hours. Oh my god. That's a lot of speakers. We will be deaf before the three hours are up. And besides, we hate Coco Melon so much. All the characters and their songs are super annoying to listen to. Please keep us away from their music. Well. That's the point. You both deserve it for child abuse. I will be turning the volume on all speakers at its max volume and we will lock the doors until the three hours are up. See you all in three hours. Oh, great. This is going to be torture to our ears. I believe that has to be some plan right now. The wheels on the bus go round the ground. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. All right, Sunny and Alice. Time's up. Alice, do you know what this officer just say? I cannot hear anything now that I'm deaf because of the Ree family blasting loud music for three hours straight. I think so, Sonny. I think he said that we are now getting our 11th punishment now that the three hours are up. The next one is going to be even worse. All right, for your 11th punishment, you and Alice will be taking a super cold shower using liquid nitrogen. No way. I am not getting in a liquid nitrogen shower. We could freeze and catch hypothermia. Do you want us to freeze to death? Get in the shower right now. Or else your next punishment will get even worse. And maybe if you have never decided to put Justine and Annabelle outside in the snowstorm last year, then you would have never been in this situation. Now go. Somebody save us. We are freezing our asses off. Holy freaking crap. We are so cold, even our skin turned blue and our hair turned white. Tags right, Sunny. That was even worse than the time we turned orange and grey after eating the ghost pepper. I will never forgive the Shadow Ops police for this. Alright, Sunny and Alice.